Guys, what's up and welcome back to a fresh new inside series. Today I'm bringing you the Porsche Cayenne Coupe GTS. This ain't the first Cayenne Coupe on the channel, no. The Turbo is already live on the channel with a full inside series. Check out the links below in the description. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to tap the sub button and the bell notification and you won't miss any of my new videos. If you follow my feed on Instagram, you know I'm a big fan of SUV Coupes. I mean, I've had the X4M Coupe. Why? Well, actually, it's very logic. Look at the lines. You got that more sexy, sporty coupe line and it's more aerodynamic. So if you don't prefer space, this is the one. Inside though, the game continues. You got the typical modern Porsche finishing, leather everywhere, very high-end and firm finishing, definitely on the buttons as well. You got your nice driver focused cockpit here with the analog RPM meter in the center with a red coloring. So yeah, inside this very serious gameplay. I've got here the option list in the glove box and let's have a look at all the specs of this GTS. Porsche KN GTS Coupe. Base options, so let's highlight a few base options. We got the sport exhaust system with the black exhaust tips. We got 21 inch RS Spider wheels as a base. We got the Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus Sport Design Package, Exterior Package in black high gloss, red brake calipers by Xenon, LED lights in the rear, aluminium interior trim and GTS Sport seats, Alcantara in the roof as well for the interior. So that's base for the GTS and with that base options you got a base price of 198,501 euros. Color spec Carmine Red. And the interior is black, including the interior package, Carmine Red finishing. That's the stitching. Parking assistant front and rear, including surround view. Heated windscreen, comfort access. A 20 inch spare wheel, heads up display. Driver lane assistance, adaptive sport seats, comfort seats in the back as well. Interior package carbon. Carbon finishing in the door sills and lighted as well. Sport chrono package, Carmine Red finishing. The side airbags boast a surround sound system, LED matrix headlights with tinted glass, nice, nice, nice. Sport design package, carbon, privacy glass, Porsche Logan lights in the doors. We got the roof spoiler in gloss black. And we got the optional new braking system called Porsche Surface Coated Brake, PSCB. We got 22 inch wheels, Sport Classic wheels, high gloss, 4 zone. Automatic air conditioning, ionizer, ambient lighting, adaptive cruise control, of course, steering wheel heating in the front, seat heating in the front, steering wheel heating. We got some floor mats, well, that's pretty logic. We got the RPM meter also with finishing of Carmine Red. And we got a smokers package as well and the DAB radio. So here we go. Base options with the base price, and then we got the optional options. Total end price in the Netherlands, including taxes. Here we go. These are the taxes and the total end price 238,726 euros. Very serious price for a GTS because the Turbo in the Netherlands also has the price range of 238,000. So yeah, if you want to have the biggest, the fastest KN Coupe, you can also buy the Turbo for the same price in the Netherlands. Although if you're the enthusiast and you just want to have something very special, the GTS is the way to go. Let's get rolling on the exterior. Porsche Cayenne Coupe GTS. Let's start on the front. So still on the front, we got that 911-ish shape. Nowadays, pretty much more like the, like the generation of the Macan. So first of all, here we have the logo from Stuttgart, Porsche. Then you got on the, on the hood, you got those nice lines accenting pretty much the whole sport lines and the aerodynamic shape of the engine. And also, like it looks like a pretty big power dome. It's not a power dome, but it gives you a bit of that feeling. Okay, then we go to the headlights. Here we go. The Matrix LEDs with the Porsche branding inside. So there you got the main LED. And there you, at the outside, you got four dots, just like in the 992, the 911. You got your four day driving lights. Inside here, we got the black finishing. Yeah, it's mirroring pretty good. What's up? So yeah, it's very nice finishing on the whole headlight. Typical Porsche, very Porsche identity. Then if we go below the headlights, then we got another LED bar here. Also part of the day driving lights. And also when you got your 
your dim lights on you can see that the LED bar is enlightened and this part below the headlights is all finished in gloss black with carbon fiber because that's part of the exterior carbon fiber finishing so you got gloss black carbon fiber and then down here as well gloss black with carbon fiber finishing we got a park pilot sensor here that's pretty contrasting with the carbon so yeah we got three units we got the headlight we got the center the right center grill and we got the lower here the lower the lower section of this part and this is all functional because behind there there we go behind this grill we got the left intercooler well, we go to the center we got the big sensor here sensor for all the driving assistance there you go and we got a very huge grill with the radiator behind it and we got also active air flaps there you can see the mechanics active air flaps front camera of course and here we have again the sensors of the park pilot finishing we got a little little cheeky front splitter here in the same color as the, as the whole car, so that's Carmine Red, not contrasting, but still visible. And also, it's finished on the right side of the front bumper. So yeah, the front splitter is short of. So yeah, the little front splitter is sticking out a bit, just accenting a bit that GTS shape. Okay, current setting, by the way, the lowest setting, sport setting. So this is the lowest position on the air suspension. Here we go, the Sport Classic wheel shapes. First of all, the measurements, 285, 35, 22 inch in the front. We got duotone wheels, we got gloss black and that silver finishing in the trim, so that's nice contrasting. And then we got those new brakes, Porsche Surface brake system. To give you a bit of information on this brake system, this is in between steel brakes and carbon ceramic brakes. The option is around 3,000 euros um, it got 10 pistons as well it gives you way less dust and it's a bit more grippier than steel brakes and what's also pretty cool the discs are very shiny you will see it in the rear discs a bit more so yeah we got the huge brake calipers from the Volkswagen Audi group with 10 pistons Very nice GTS sticker here, only for the GTS you will get that sticker. And then the mirror cap, but not a cap, no, keep looking, wait for it. How cool is this? The carbon fiber mirror cap also continues all the way to the inside. So this is not a mirror cap, this is the whole mirror in carbon fiber. How cool and how racy. Very nice. LED of course here for the blinkers integrated and down here again one of the cameras part of the surround view so the window trim there you go the window trim is in gloss black nice combinations with the red and the privacy glass in the rear contrasting pretty good and yeah we got that nice coupe shape This is the big, big panoramic roof. You can't open it, but it's totally glass. You'll see later on how huge it is. Got that nice spoiler here. Accenting again that KN Coupe feeling. And of course here, this little spoiler lip. There we go. Porsche fueling. This is the fuel cap. Okay, rear wheels. So there you go with that new brake disc. Look at how shiny those new brake discs are. Porsche surface coated brake. Four pistons in the rear and again that crayon silver white look. And we got rear measures off. Where are we? Here we go finishing. Where are we? 315, 30, 22 inch. So we got wider wheels in the rear. Oh, I love the whole line of the K and Coupe, really. Okay, before we go to the rear, let's have a look at how the whole 
rear matrix LED lights are integrated. So they start pretty deep on the, on the whole rear side of the bumper. And then you can see how they continue to the whole rear finishing of the car. Wow, I love these lights. Rear matrix LEDs, dark tinted inside. Porsche KN GTS. So the Porsche emblem is integrated in the whole black finishing of the rear LEDs top you got that nice spoiler also in gloss black so we got that nice contrasting black layers then down here we have first of all we got a little accent here on the rear bumper that's that little shape it's a nice detail and we got the rear diffuser well it's not a functional diffuser because this is typical optical diffuser is only functional when these vents are positioned down here for the airflow anyway it's still very good looking exhaust tips so this is the optional sport exhaust you only will get as a base on the GTS a little detail the center pipe sport exhaust I will show you the photo right now this exhaust wasn't available on this GTS during production but that's a very exclusive sport exhaust for the GTS and the turbo only with a more extreme note than this trust me this exhaust already sounds very very good It's time to pop the hood and the luggage compartment and let's see how big the luggage compartment is. First of all, the engine. So, something very cool on this engine. This is a very known engine. You can also find this engine in the RS6, in the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, in the Turbo S and in the Lamborghini Urus as well. Also in the Bentley by the way. There you go, 4.0 V8 by Turbo. In this GTS, the engine produces 460 horses. But for example, this same engine, so this hardware, in the Lamborghini Urus produces 650 horses. That's something interesting. Trunk space KN Coupe. First of all, we have the button down here to open the trunk. Also a button in the driver door to open it. Or of course, you use the button on the awesome Porsche key. There you go, very aerodynamic designed. So if you press this button down here, the trunk opens and we have visibility for the space of the KN Coupe. And I can tell you, this is a big luggage compartment for an SUV Coupe. You've got the nice nets here for your private items not to move. And we got down here, we got the spare wheel. Here we got the Bose. I think this is the amplifier, maybe even subwoofer, but whatever this is part of the whole Bose optional audio system here we got my camera back so you can compare it with all the other reviews and we get two buttons to lower or put the car higher there you go so yeah exterior of the KN Coupe GTS trunk definitely approved engine also approved it's down tuned with 200 horses plus so that's also a very nice uh, this is a very nice addition to the whole car because this engine is down tuned meaning it has a lot of capability okay it's time to go inside let me show the interior of the GTS Interior of the KN Coupe GTS. First of all, the doors. So we got a lot of black with some red stitching of the Carmine Red. So first of all, here on top, we got some black leather. Then we got that double red Carmine stitching. Then below here, we got first of all, we got buttons for the memory seats. Nice door handle here. And then we got the trim, the carbon trim housed in gloss black. This is black leather. Here we got some nice Alcantara. Down here in the armrest in the door, also Alcantara and the double stitching with leather finishing as well. Nice door handle here, also in leather. Speaker unit, optional of the Bose 
surround system here you go this is Bose and we got some finishing down here as well in leather for some items as well as a nice space for a big water bottle so we got a lot of leather in the whole door finishing then here we got the enlightened GTS logo KN GTS LED enlightened with carbon finishing got that nice Porsche floor mats in carmine red as well and then we got the optional electric adjustable sport seats that's based in the GTS combinations of leather black leather with Alcantara and again that red carmine stitching nice comfort and grip as well so you get some nice combinations of sport and comfort and in the headrest carmine red GTS Entry test KN Coupe GTS. Selection on the lowest air suspension currently. Pretty easy entrance. Welcome inside. This is your point of view. So let's bring some light in this interior. Dummy key here on the left side. Typical Porsche side. Here we go. We got some light in the interior. Let's start on the left side on the light switches. So here we have full automatic lights, press buttons. These are the manual buttons for the lights. Here we got, of course, like I mentioned, the dummy key just to enlighten the ignition, but it still detects the original key. Then on the left side, next to the buttons for the lights, we got the typical KN design of the air vents. This is metal, by the way, so it's very firm. Finished in leather with a combination of gloss black. So this is leather. That's leather, very nice how that's that all finished in that whole button construction. So the housing is seriously high end guys. So on top on the dash, again that black leather with that double stitching. So the double stitching from the doors actually continues all the way on top of the dash. Here we got the Alcantara. So we got Alcantara all the way here in the roof. Got some light, there you go. All Alcantara in the roof. Speaker unit as well. Heads up display unit. And then here, the Sport Chrono clock, also in Carmine Red. And next to the Sport Chrono clock with Carmine Red finishing, we got two vents and of course the center speaker over there. Passenger side, clean with leather and some nice finishing here with that carbon and gloss black housing again. Okay, let's have a look at the steering wheel. Leather steering wheel. We got steering wheel heating over here. Here's the button. There you go. On the left side, you have the controls for the driving assistance. And on the right side, you control your Porsche menu here. On the right side of your speedometer. So here you got some extra info. And of course, also an extra map. So yeah, this, this little screen gives you so much information. That's a very nice feature. So we got four digital clocks and in the center we got an analog clock colored in the carmine red of course. So yeah, driver view, definitely approved, very high end, very Porsche. Let's head over to the center console, starting with the Porsche multimedia system, the big screen of the setnet and the multimedia. This is all a touch screen. On the left side, you got all your menus with your climate systems, with your apps, your driving assistance, sound settings, device settings. So this is all touch available. Very high end, very nice resolution and very intuitive. There you go, car settings. Below the big screen, we have two nice vents. There you go all with that nice metal touch again and this is all blacked out and here you got some enlightened buttons to engage or disengage these two vents with a very nice grippy feeling typical Porsche again high end just like the volume button let's hear the clicks oh I like this this is high end as well as the volume button also very nice very nice clicks as well and here the buttons we got touch buttons behind this gloss black finishing you can hear the clicks as well so yeah these buttons are all touched 
this is a physical button, very metal-ish, very high-end. Here you got the two-zone climate system on the left side for the driver and on the right side for the passenger. Very nice metal press button here. And of course controls seat heating, heating for the windscreen and the rear window as well. Porsche gear knob with some leather finishing, nice height, not too low or not too high, very comfy because, well, here we got two cup holders, cigarette lighter, 12 volt input, but because the armrest, we can move the armrest to the front so you can chill your arm while driving in this area or on the gear knob like my bro Pure Drive likes. So yeah, that's a very nice finishing here. And for the driver, as for the passenger, we got these handles, typical SUV style handles, also finished in black leather. The armrest in the center combinations with the Carmine Red stitching of leather and Alcantara. These are my personal items, but very important, we got two USB-C inputs and a wireless charging pad. Little detail here, the seat belts also in that nice Carmine Red. It's all about details. All right guys, front section check of the Kia GTS. Let's have a look at the rear section. But first of all, welcome to one of the biggest panoramic roofs I've ever seen in a car. This is huge. So you can't open this, but you do are able to close it with some sun shading. But of course we want to open this because we want to enjoy the big view. Rear section, GTS, KN Coupe. First of all, the privacy glass. There you go. Then we got a lot of black because it's the same spec as the front door. Black leather, again with the Alcantara. Carbon finishing with the housing of the gloss black. Carmine red stitching, the two speaker units here on top and down here, the base unit of the Bose system. Door handle again with that leather. And the door sill is enlightened, but this time it only fits KN. Maybe they should have switched this with GTS. So let's have a look at the entry test because this is super easy. The entry test of the KN Coupe on the lowest section, on the lowest section of the air suspension. So if you are the rear passenger in the KN Coupe, this is your point of view. Well, first of all, we got GTS in the headrest here. We got the Alcantara as well. Here we got some LEDs and you're enjoying the panoramic roof a lot. That's such a nice view. Center armors for the rear passengers finished in leather with two centered cup holders. And for the rear seats we have two zone climate system. And of course, seat heating, if I'm right. Where are we? There it is. You can see the icons for the seat heating and the seat venting. But my guess is this doesn't have the option. <laughs> okay, that's cool to see. Anyway, finished in leather, of course. Two USB-C powered inputs. Powered because we can see a little battery there. There you go, a little battery. Cigarette lighter, 12 volt input, two nice vents. And yeah, we got the nice carpeting here as well. And the Porsche mats with the Carmine red stitching. Rear seats, by the way, pretty much bucket seats for our rear seats. It's pretty deep, not too much, but deep enough. And all leather combined with this red finishing of the stitching. Porsche Cayenne Coupe GTS guys. All right, I hope you have some more feeling on the exterior as well, on the interior and the full option list of the whole car. Personally, I like this spec a lot, especially with the Carmine Red and that all black finishing as well. Very important note, I'm gonna put some extra, extra exhaust clips for this car because this is a modern V8 engine by Turbo. It's these days very difficult to engineer a very nice sound from the current exhaust systems with a lot of filters like the OPF. But Porsche has put so much effort in the stock sport exhaust system. This is not even the center piped optional exhaust system. But this exhaust system is already sounding so good. It deserves some extra attention on the exhaust clips. Thank you for now for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram. Tap the sub button and the bell notification. I will see you definitely on the next video. Ciao.